Hi, I'm Craig Turnka, and we're here at Pilot Point, Texas with Chad and Susie Chance's ranch, home of Hoof Watch. And we're going to do some shoes today for Madison, the two-man shoes. And our judge, Mrs. Sarah Bean, has picked two traditional English shoes called Tool and Fullard, which were the predecessors to Concave. And we're going to make the hind uh, Tool and Fullard cock and feather. It's supposed to measure four and three quarters by five and a half. So we're gonna get about two inches of stretch on our 5 a. so we're gonna go with 10 inches and we're gonna make a, a wedge, a running wedge, which we call a feather on the medial aspect. And we're gonna have a caulking on the lateral aspect. And it's gonna be quarter clipped. So we're using 5A square for the tool and fullard, and based on how much stretch you get for your, your block, you'll have to determine how much you're gonna need. We get usually about two inches of stretch when you have like an appliance on both heels, like a, a caulkin and a feather or a wedge. So we're gonna have about two inches of stretch. That'll get us right at where we need to get four and three quarters by five and a half. Just gonna put a little bit of mass on the end of the block, so. Is if you just kinda hold it at an angle, you can get a little bit of that heel, the angle on it already. Kinda just bring it back a little bit. And we've got way more than enough, but what I'm trying to do is so where we can make the, the transition and we don't put so many dents and notches, I can put it all the way to the end. All right, basically I'm just pushing all my flashing back in. Come on to the edge. There you go. Perfect. Kind of cleaning up those edges and I've got my section. It's pretty tidy right now. Come on with it. Perfect. That we just got it right there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's sweet. So when you bring it out of the block, you're gonna make your, your wedge. Right about here, you have a transition period. And so you're just gonna try and make a flat spot for your, your fuller and your guide fuller. To You're gonna go guide fuller, and then you're gonna freelance it with your fuller up the, the edge of the steel. I'm gonna just turn up for my caulking, round. And then it allows me to get that base push down in there. You can see it get the face out of the way. And that allows you to pack that back edge to where you have a, a flat spot all the way back. Letting it lean back. And then now a half blow. Perfect. Just getting it to pack material in there. All right. There you go. Get a little bit of flashing, so all I'm gonna do is take care of that flashing. The flashing is anything that squirts out over the block. There we go. You're starting to see how clean you can make the lines. You have, you have a parallel, and then you have your top edge. 
Now that I've pretty much got my block established, I'm gonna get the face going and I'm gonna cock my branch. And then I'm gonna just start getting my heel cock standing upright. And then I'll rasp it. It would have a round back on the heel cock. So that's where I'm gonna. Wanna get to this point, I wanna have my heel cock pretty well done. I wanna have a nice parallel section and I wanna have my peak be in the same place and that comes from just putting it in the block and continuing on. This is gonna be my toe bend, I'm gonna heat it up here. And basically I wanna have the front of my heel cock be about where the back, where the back of the wedge is when I make my toe bend. All right, I wanna make my toe bend and I just wanna keep it from buckling. So I'm just gonna take my time, flatten this side on the, on the one side because it buckles upward. And on the other side, it does the exact opposite. I feel like I've got my toe where I want it. I'm using this line on this side of the anvil just as much as I'm using the front side. I'm just using the front side to mark, but I'm kind of balancing it on the back side. And now I'll just go and I'll mark my toe. So come in here and all I'm doing is picking up on my toe band, my toe band and just getting it nice and flat. And then ever so slightly. The straighter I make that branch, the easier it is to mark it out. There you go. The very top of the, the section is really flimsy, so it can go either way. So if you drive it in the way a fuller's built, it'll dive. When you're going through the very small part of the block, I want to lean my fuller over and get to the strong part of the material. And that way, it won't dive in. It'll stay in the, because I want, I'm looking at this line and this line and I'd already be too coarse, so I just want to keep it out until I get fairly down to where it's got more material to hold it together. All right, we're gonna pick it up. Good deal. Oh, ho, ho. got me a little ledge. Nice clip, tall at the top. Perfect, perfect.
I'm cleaning this up right now and then we'll file it up each side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get two edges together. I'm going to I create the top edge, I take the top off of there, and then I'm going to make the inside the concave edge. I got the half round and I'm going to blend that all to where I've got a nice clean line. Making it one slope. Trying not to take off any of the, the hoof weight bearing. Just trying to make a nice elongated parallel lines on it. Come in here and get it to where I can get at it. Hot file it or draw file it. And this just kind of the final clean up and shape and heat, just trying to get everything. Nice and good and flat, and then we'll refuller it real quick.